Local food is about what's happening in communities, uh, small, medium and large around the province. On only 2% of our landscape in British Columbia, over 80% of the population lives and over 80% of our farm gate receipts are generated. Well, there's many, many aspects that we need to look at to secure the basis for our food in British Columbia. So we've actually, as the Sustainable Food Systems Working Group, taken the kind of province-wide priority areas for action and align that particularly with the, the recently released Agri-Food and Seafood Strategic Growth Plan. Which, and we've kind of identified these key focus areas where we see there's opportunity for great impact, there's really a, a, a need for a collective approach where no one sector or organization can be able to advance these, and really the opportunity to, to achieve actionable steps that are really going to have great impact. There's a tremendous amount of opportunity to work together with small producers, with buyers, with larger corporations to form public and private partnerships to explore just what we can do to bring more healthy food onto the plates and minds of, of British Columbians. This summit is, is the Finding Common Ground Summit. We have people from the, the both provincial government as well as local and regional government from, from industry and, and within agriculture, different uh, commodity groups, but also processing, right, which play a critical role when we're talking about a systems perspective. Uh, we have a variety of non-governmental organizations that kind of operate across aspects of the food system, whether that's supporting new entrants or whether that's looking at how we you know, advance sustainable food procurement. And then we also have a number of philanthropic and, and funding organizations and financial institutions that also play a critical role, not just through granting, but also lending and other forms of kind of investment. And then academic institutions that not just have a role in you know, educating the future generation of food system professionals, but also a critical role in career around research as it applies to all these different issues. What we've really tried to do is kind of align priorities, align shared goals, and looking at how we can advance collaboration. We really appreciate the focus of the Real Estate Foundation. They brought together their clients that they funded to do projects in sustainable food, and they've helped a lot in helping us articulate and demonstrate what a sustainable food system could look like. We've changed our approach to grant making. Traditional fund funders and, and foundations and endowments normally are what we would I would call uh, very responsive. So about two or three years ago, we decided to um, get ahead of the game, if you want to call it that, to to be on a proactive uh, approach to fundraising. So meaning getting out uh, and meeting the communities uh, in person and talking to the thought leaders in each community and finding out what the gaps are. It's not often enough do we actually spend time with other groups and actually get to observe the overlaps that happen. So I was really quite impressed by that process. I'm really interested in looking at our existing policy and legal structures that support sustainable food systems here in British Columbia and building on those because we know we cannot simply rely on the agricultural land reserve to create sustainable farming or viable farms uh, over the long term. Thank you for doing the work that you do to understand how important it is to, to live off the land. The creative places are in the spaces between the silos, so if you bring the silos together and generate good questions, you find innovation comes up in the spaces between the silos. And honestly, we're going to need all the innovation we can get.